Hello, my name is Dr. Jonathan Stockman, and I'm a veterinary nutritionist. And today I will be talking about nutritional management of urinary <clears throat> and renal disease. So the objectives for today are to understand the risk factors, the prevalence and metabolic implications, as well as the nutritional management of chronic kidney disease and lower urinary disease in dogs and cats. But before we start talking about urinary disease and renal disease, I just want to cover a little bit about calcium and phosphorus metabolism because it's important for the further understanding of some of the metabolic processes that occur during urinary disease and renal disease. So when phosphorus is high, we have several mechanisms to get it to go down again, including the secretion of a hormone called the parathyroid hormone or PTH. And what PTH does is it reduces the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the diet, and it increases the excretion of phosphorus in the urine. When we have hyperphosphatemia, it also upregulates this factor called fibroblast growth factor 23, which is excreted from the bones. And this factor acts to reduce the activation of vitamin D to calcitriol in the kidney. By doing that, it reduces the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from the diet. But what, all, what the primary function of FGF23 is, it is a hormone that binds with a factor called clotho in the kidneys and stimulates the secretion of, uh, excretion, sorry, of phosphorus from the kidneys into the urinary filtrate. So why um, do we restrict phosphorus even if the patient doesn't have high phosphorus in the blood tests? And the answer is yes, because even if the phosphorus is normal in the blood test, it doesn't mean that the patient's um, metabolism is completely normal. It's very likely that some of these factors such as FGF23 and PTH will be elevated in patients even if they're um, plasma phosphorus is normal. So it's only looking at the surface and we're not really um, taking into account these, these metabolic alt, uh, abnormalities that, that occur in chronic kidney disease if we're ignoring the high phosphorus in these patients with um, more advanced kidney disease.